全ての鐘は鳴り響いたフェイトグランドオーダーコスモス・イン・ザ・ロストベルト妖精円卓領域アバロン・ルフェ巡礼の旅の終わり冬の玉座は誰の手に Hello everyone, welcome back for some more Let's Play Fate Grand Order. We do have confirmation that the Grand Nero Fest is being revived, and I'll get to play it、uh, in two days. Two days for me. However many days it is for you, I don't know. Maybe by the time this up, it'll be time.、Um, do I have her bloomer costume? I don't actually know.、Uh, where is she? Let's see. She would be summoned. She should be pretty high up on the list, if I'm correct. There she is. I do have her outfit. So cool. I'll get more stuff. What? You have so many. Calm down. Calm down.、Um, that's cool. We just had some summer servants announced for JP. Saw them. One of them, very interesting.、Um, one of them is. is Very interesting to be a summer servant. I don't know how that's gonna work. Um, and、uh, yeah, there's gonna be big announcements soon, so I'm excited for that. It's gonna be good. I just like kind of putting in time where I'm like, hey, this is where we're at in terms of the release and everything,、um, so that people can watch this in the future. And every time I'm like, man, that servant should be in, and now they're in, they can be like, haha, little does he know. And then they comment that, and the comments drive up my engagement. Which gives me more money. So thank you. Anyways, let's head to New Darlington. Lost Will. That doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound great, I'm gonna be honest. That this sounds like a, a bit of a downer part of the plot. It feels like we're, you know, heading down. Don't want that. Hey, you hear what happened in the flats on, the, on 6th Street? They say none of the fairies who live there ever came back. So Lady Tristan's at it again, huh? I swear you can't relax for a second. <laughs> Can't have shit in New Darlington. I don't like how they were laughing. I don't like how quiet they were. You just can't win with her. Why in the world did the Queen bring a fairy like that here? You said it. Camelot would be a damn utopia if it wasn't for her killing fairies left and right. Damn it. One of these days, I sure hope someone puts that demented brat in her place. Yo. I'll say this for Salisbury Aurora would have imprisoned a fairy like Tristan long ago. Call him out. Tamlin Tristan? Surely you're joking, right? Who could ever respect that repugnant little brat? The High Queen's daughter, please. She's the only one who takes that seriously. Has High Queen Morgan ever once. ever even. Has High Queen Morgan ever even said one kind thing to her? She's just a pig walking on hind legs in a fancy dress. <sighs> She wouldn't know culture or dignity if it jumped up and bit her. Oh, yes, a most beloved daughter, that one is. Mm <laughs> hmm. Did you know Tristan destroyed the entire city of Cambridge? That's just a funny sentence to hear out of context. Like, I could just take that one thing and send it to my friends who know nothing about fate, and they'd be like, wait, what? I must say, it reflects incredibly poorly on the High Queen that she permits so toxic a creature to continue doing as she pleases. Yeah, I kind of hate the word toxic, but it's kind of the best word to describe her. I mean, I'm not saying I believe that myself, but I've often heard it said. I can only hope Her Majesty comes to her senses soon. If only she wasn't a Tam Lin, we'd put that uppity brat in her place. Beloved. Even the even Queen's Knight? What about King's Knight? And Jack's Knife? And Pot of Greed? New Darlington's done for. You can't even call it a city at this point. Anyone trying to escape from there is sent to the underground prison, and the only ones moving to New Darlington are criminals. Oh! It's Fairy Australia. There's not a single decent fairy left in the place. I'm sorry. That, this is going to make it sound really bad now. I shouldn't have said that. You know how they,、uh, they kill at least one a night at their slaughterhouse theater? And、the whole reason the city of Preston defected to Nognareve's King Clan is because of the so called football tournament Tristan held there. In it? In it? Football, in it? Oh my god, I made the jokes and the jokes are being made for me. First, New Darlington tricked teams from all the major cities into coming there. Then they executed all the teams that lost and finally Preston after they'd won. Dang. 
that's the second most corrupt soccer tournament ever. The first being FIFA. That's it. That's the extent of the jokes I can make. Yikes. Debauchery is one thing, but that is absurd. It'd be one thing if she had real skill like Lady Lancelot and Lady Gawain, but that brat's got no more magical energy than a typical lower-class fairy. If she weren't gifted with Sir Tristan's name, she'd be a third-rate fairy at best. No, even with his name, she's still third boy rate. Without her majesty's protection, she'd be no match at all for knights like us. This goes to show that the smallest dogs bark the loudest. If she weren't her majesty's daughter, every fairy in Camelot would be out to put that yappity bitch down for good. Oh my god. The fact that even the guards are so okay with saying this says a lot, right? The ones that are devoted to Morgan are even like, yo, this sucks. Shut up, shut up, shut up. They're the ones who keep yapping. It doesn't matter what those peons say. I'll pee on them. I'm still the queen's daughter. Mother taught me magecraft. Mother, she gave me clothes. She gifted me a name. She gave me New Darlington and said I could play with it however I liked. That means I'm supposed to kill any fairy who annoys me, right? That I should destroy anything I don't like, right? Why? And yet Mother never praises me. No matter how many times I do that, I ask you... Why? I'm trying as hard as I can, but I don't know what she wants from me. Why must you always be like that, Bavanshi? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, High Queen Morgan. I promise I'll do better next time. I promise I'll kill more next time. I'm Bavanshi. I'm free-spirited. Ruby text, selfish. Elegant, ruby text, cruel. And beautiful, ruby text, cold. Everyone in Britain loves me. I saw someone make a plugin for using ruby text when talking about fighting games. So if you type in, like, the... If you type in quarter circle, it'll write, like, 236 on top of it. That's the coolest. Can we get Ruby text incorporated in English, please? That's the part I'll play, I promise. I'll be just the successor you want, I promise. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I always end up like this. But I'm doing the best I can, I just... I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Mother, mother... You're the kindest mother ever. I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't found me. Well, surrounded by shoes? Huh? I'm in my room. In my bed. Is she going to be in her, like, breakdown outfit? Why? I thought I did good this time. I trapped them in the garden, went into the mirror, and then... Wait. That's... Wait, the bottle... Is the garden? Oh, I thought it was something else. Oh, so it's not the... Oh, okay. Why is my body so heavy? This isn't good, I have to get up. Whoa, whoa. Easy there, Lady Spinel. You got some big bags under your eyes, you know that? Did you not get enough sleep? Have you been pushing yourself too hard? Right, of course you have. You did pinch that treasure from the throne. I'm impressed you managed to sneak in there while Morgan wasn't watching. She's pretty furious with you now, but I think it's great. Kids are supposed to act up as they get older. Farrell, is that you? I'm sorry, I can't get up right. Huh? Easy, don't try to get up. You're exhausted now, right? That's why you should be lying down. Okay, but... Farrell, what was that sound just now? It sounded like something fell to the floor. Oh, that? Uh, don't worry about it. Your fingertip just fell off because your body's rotting, but hey, it doesn't hurt, right? Oh... Here we get a little... Okay, again? If there's one thing Nasu does well, it's writing horror. Why is my... Beats me. Maybe it's because you use the Garden of Lost Will. Wait, Garden of Lost Will. Okay, that's a different... Okay. When they said the garden, I thought it was Garden of Avalon. Right? That'd be... What they... Okay, so it's a different one. The Garden of Lost Will? I mean, that is, uh, that it, that it, one, uh, blah, 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 blah. I mean, that is one hellaciously powerful cursed artifact, isn't it? <laughs> and then again, maybe it's because Morgan's finally fed up with you and stopped feeding you magical energy. And if that's what it really is, you really shouldn't be holding on to the garden. It'll just make your condition worse. Here, let me have it. I'll put it somewhere nice and safe. You think so, but Beryl, I really need to... Relax, it's fine. 
I'm just gonna put it in the underground sanctuary where it'll be nice and safe. You stay put and rest up here, okay? Just until you can stand up on your own again. Wait. Come back. Why the underground sanctuary? Beryl? Where did you go? I can't move. I can't move. That's strange. I can't move my arms or legs at all. Dang. Bed arc. What is this? Tsukihime? God, those chapters are amazing. Freaking love Tsukihime. Tsukihime English real. Let's go. I'm still excited. I'm still just raring to go. Even if it does mean delaying my let's play of it even longer. Artoria in the Garden of Lost Will. Oh, and that's why the chapter's called Lost Will. I woke to the sound of my heart being chipped away deep inside my chest. Where am I? This isn't the field I was just in. It's much farther away. It's like I'm somewhere between Britain and the planet's inner sea. This must be the garden where- Oh! Wait! So it is the garden, but... Interesting. They have different names, maybe? Between... Does the concept of Avalon not exist here? That's interesting if that's the case. Huh. This must be the garden where Merlin said he was imprisoned. But he also said there were different kinds of gardens. Oh, here we go. Garden of Sweet Dreams? Is that... That's not what... For some reason, I read that. I read that there's a Garden of Sweet Dreams, and my brain immediately goes to, is that what Lens power is? Once again, from Sugihime. The Garden of the Dark Abyss, the Garden of Lost Will, the the Innocent Garden, or the Garden of the Innocent? Interesting. And it looks like this garden is probably... So garden is a general type of spell. I knew it. This is the Garden of Lost Will. A cold and unforgiving garden that whittles away the hearts of its visitors by stripping away their delusions and torturing them with self-loathing. Oh, so it's like whenever I look in a mirror. Merlin did say you can leave this garden if you hold out until the end. But the whole thing is a cruel trap, meant to make you lose your heart and mind before you can. Well, whatever. I can always cut the line when I need to, to avoid having my heart and mind destroyed. I'm sure I won't be able to escape anymore if I do that, but there's no way Bovanshi has enough magical energy to keep this garden going that long anyway. I'll eventually get out of here one way or another, so... Until then... I just have to contend with a bunch of things I'd rather not. What is Mash going to have to go through? Ah, the prophecy was true. That girl is our star of hope. She will be our salvation. She will be our absolution. She is the savior who washed up on our shore, along with the name Artoria. May you grow healthy and strong to the age of 16. May the queen's soldiers never find you. Now go on. Hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry and greet your 16th birthday. We have complete faith in you. Which is why you must give everything you have for us. The Tiger Dojo? What? That's that's Tiger Dojo. This this wood grain flooring into darkness? Okay, hello. Caster, I bought you a new book. It's about etiquette for upper class fairies. You should study it now so you'll be ready when you leave the castle one day leave for the castle, rather. Let's see, do you mind if I put the table here? It won't leave you much room in the stable, but it'll just have to make do. By the way, have your fame markings grown in yet? You'll be 16 years old in only two more years, you know. I'm getting a little worried. Your journey's gonna be hard enough as it is. I see you're working hard again today, Caster. You are so diligent, dedicated, and innocent. You play just as hard as you study. You always find whatever it is the village needs at a given moment. The other fairies could learn a thing or two from you. Just seeing you in action fills us with hope. Still, I'm afraid it's going to be difficult to pay this year's tax. We've already sold most of the jewelry you were wearing when your boat washed up here, along with the rest of the treasure it carried. 
Some of the fairies are even starting to wonder if you really are the child of prophecy. Ah, uh, what are we gonna do? We'll be lucky if we even survive the winter. Why must you be so terribly weak and useless? Talk about expectations, yeah, jeez, oh my god. So, we've heard this before, but I guess now with more context, we sort of recontextualize some of it. I swear, none of these fairies have any tact. I guess that's what happens when you live past your prime. Well, there's nothing wrong with saying uh, when you don't like something. In fact, you should say so. Don't you agree, Caster? I mean, you don't want anyone treating you any differently just because you're the child of prophecy either, right? So, I don't care if you're the child of prophecy. I'm going to treat you like the slave you are. Oh, that wasn't there last time. Well, if you've been growing, you really need to start if you're going to catch up to where you need to be. Especially since we don't have anything of your anything of yours left to sell. We can always sell you to the High Queen if we have to. Yeah, that wasn't there last time. The Child of Prophecy. The Child of Prophecy. The Child of Prophecy raised in a stable. The Child of Prophecy. She was raised as the village slave. The Child of Prophecy. She always smiled and said right away when told to do something. No matter how much she didn't want to. She'd be killed if she refused, after all. How could she say no? Yeah, oh, this is new then. Yeah, we didn't know this. The idea that she was actually the, like, the village slave. Wow, that's interesting. Okay. It was so much easier to keep quiet and do as she was told. I used to think I could survive that way. I thought as long as I didn't rock the boat too much, once I finally turned 16, I may be burdened with an impossible duty, but I could at the very least leave the village. Oh, that's interesting. That's why she was in the stable. Oh my god. We want to see proof. Proof that you really are the child of prophecy. That blacksmith who lives on the cliff is... Un... Okay. Un... A-N... Something... Human. A N N O Y I N. It's not annoying. We'll have to see. You're the only one he's not wary of. You're the only one he trusts. It's obviously meant to be human. It's un blank human. Huh. If you're truly the fairy destined to save Britain, then kill him for us. Oh no. Please, please, we're so anxious. Our every day is filled with fear. So go on. Prove you can protect us by taking care of him. Of course. Of course I will. Oh, jeez. It's Hector! Oh, frick, and we've seen the sprite before. Where have we seen the sprite? It was probably in the village at the very beginning, if I'm correct. Right. No way. That's it, I've had enough. I'm just gonna cut off the line and close off the way to the exit now. And so, the child of prophecy left Tintagel for good. I think I've always been quick to cheer up when I'm feeling down. Afterwards, to make a long, not very interesting story short, I went into the nameless woods. She sent, she went there herself. Oh my god. And now I've come across Tanner. Just as he's moments away from succumbing to the Lost Will's traps. Oh. Oh my god, he's just talking. MC just starts talking full. Like, there was one line here. But no, this is just him talking. For a moment, I thought I saw our Tori on the other side of that wall. But that can't be right. I mean, there's a wall here. And the whole point of walls is you can't see or go through them. So I couldn't have seen her on the other side. What are you looking at, Tanner? Are you so exhausted you started hallucinating? Well, get it together already. We can't have you spacing out while we're storming the Lost Belts. We may have any number of replacements for you, but you're still the last master of humanity. Interesting. We're getting into the main character's deep-seated fears and stuff. Huh? Replacements? You mean you found other race of candidates? Do you still not get it? You understand that you don't need to raise shift to get in the Lost Belts, right? We have another Master Candidate in Caddock now. Once this treatment is finished, you won't be our only option anymore. Oh my god! 
He's worried about being replaced, so he has to work hard. Oh wait, he's not really a master candidate, is he? You are the only one who is just a candidate. Huh? Hang on, I have to take this. Hello? Kadok's awake now, and he's in good health? That's great, send him to the command room immediately. Good news, Tanner, Kadok's fully recovered. You can go back to just being a spare, so we can start doing our jobs properly without holding your hand all the time. Oh my god. Oh my god. So that's how it is. All that talk about how much they need me and how they blow me off just like that. Hey Tanner, what do you think you're doing here? Get it through your head already, will you? You're not a master anymore. You'd never say this to me. Because you're me. You're supposed to be on standby in your room, right? Just get back in there before you get in trouble. But I need to stay in shape just in case. I mean, there's no telling when I might have to go into another lost belt. Huh? What are you talking about? Your training and mission days are over. You're just a regular guy with no special talents. Stop trying to be something you're not. Just hang out in your room and let the experts handle things. Just hang out. How exactly do I do that? All this time I've been training to handle watching someone die or seeing something unspeakable. I've been practicing overcoming my flight response and clearing my mind all because they demanded it. At this point, I don't even remember what else to do with my spare time. Oh my god! Oh my god! Main character! So- Okay. So like I've always said, I've always said, like ever- Like about since probably Camelot and Babylonia, I was like, Oh yeah, this isn't just a nameless, personalityless, blank slate MC. Like I started to feel something. And once you get into part two, it really becomes apparent. But like, this is this is the time where they say, yeah, no, Ritsuka Fujimaru, or whatever you want to call him, Gudako, Gudao, right? Whatever you want to call him. There is much more character to them. They are a character. <sighs> this is great. I just can't tell. Is this one... Supposed to be? See, you're afraid to come to terms with their situation. See the world as it really is, Mr. Tanner. I understand. To tell the truth, I've been mulling the same thought over for some time now. Is solving the case truly the right thing to do? Think about it. Even if we manage to prevent what's happening here, we won't regain what we lost. Once this case has been closed, you'll be left with nothing more than a broken, empty world. By comparison, even the current state of the world is fairly overflowing with hope. No matter how bleak things may be, there's still a chance you'll be rewarded as long as you keep solving problems one at a time. You see, is that precisely how things are much easier for you now? There's no longer any means to recover what you've lost, so you might as well forget it all. Don't worry, no one will blame you. With all of humanity having long since ceased to exist, there's simply no one left to do so. Whoa. Um, all right. We're now in a Super Nintendo visual novel. Maybe I should stop this for him. It's not like he can cut his own line. Honestly, this Lost Will stuff is worse than I thought. Even when it doesn't concern me, I can't even bear to watch. Tanner's eyes keep getting more and more unfocused. He's holding his chest tightly like he's in a vacuum. He's having more and more difficulty breathing. Listen to me, Tanner. There's no need to feel sorry for these people. They're all from a hypothetical history, a living what-if scenario foisted on us, well, without our consent. True, I can understand the logic of them considering us their enemies, but that's all there is to it. It doesn't change the fact. They've already lost. So what if a meteor impact resulted in a new ice age? So what if Ragnarok burned their world to the ground? Yes, I'm sure they made things hard for them, but that's not our cross to bear. So don't bother listening to the residents of the Lost Belts. Besides, we've got them all beat when it comes to sheer suffering. We're from proper human history. We're the victors. We took the intended route. We can't let anyone take that from us. We, we can't. Still, what can we do with only 12 of us? There's no way we can ever rebuild what we lost. You know as well as I do how bleak things are, right? Those Lost Belt people know nothing of this kind of solitude, this sort of pressure. They should be the ones to compromise. They should be the ones to disappear. 
but he paid they've experienced is nothing compared to ours. Jeez. In the end, we're all just foisting the worst parts of ourselves onto each other. We act like what we want is what the world wants. Yeah. I've been telling myself it's only for now that everything I'm doing is to get life back to normal. That's why I've been able to make it this far, but the truth is... You know, you're not quite right in the head. You've almost died countless times surviving by sheer luck alone. You've forsaken countless worlds kept alive by the devil's own luck. You've abandoned countless people, countless worlds to their deaths. And despite all that, you're still no worse for wear. Stop it. You're going to, what, just grit your teeth and bear it because it's just for now? It's not my fault I have to fight? It's not my fault I can't save anyone? This is no time to whine about how hard I have it. I can just bury my face in my hands so no one can see me crying. It'll be okay once everything's gone back to normal. I can go back to just how I used to be, too. That's what you've been telling yourself, isn't it? But it's not true. Hearts, they change so easily. But they never go back to what they once were. Stop it. You really think things will go back to normal once the fighting's over? You're kidding yourself. Your heart isn't going anywhere. It can't. The sights that have been seared into your mind will never disappear. The stench that seeped into your skin can never be scrubbed away. There's no going back for you. So why are you trying desperately to convince yourself otherwise? Please, just stop. I'm begging you. Uh-oh. Oh no, we're letting it set in. Oh no. You see? You passed your limit long ago. I figured it out sooner than you'd think. No, that's one of the better things about proper human history. Everyone's equal, no one is special. Since no one there is eternal or volatile the way fairies here are, in the outside world, things are pretty much always changing. Wow, that sounds like such a human way to run a kingdom. The truth is, I was thinking the exact opposite. You guys are all such liars, it makes me sick. Everybody's equal, no one is special. Even as platitudes go, it's revolting. There will always be those who are superior as well as their inferiors. Of course, there will always be special people too. And yet Oberon said proper human history can settle its differences with peaceful discussion. It gives everyone a chance, but it doesn't allow anyone to succeed. It's all jealousy, bias, anger, fear, and people dragging each other down. Everyone's constantly deceiving one another, so none of them can make it out of the ruts they're stuck in. Oberon may not have meant it that way, but that's the impression of proper human history I got from him. That's why I asked you if you were really okay with it. How you felt about working yourself to the bone, about living for a world like that. I guess I do have some concerns. It was so beyond pitiful that all I could do was try and muster a smile in return. I swear. Jared looked so broken he wasn't even... that I didn't even know what kind of brave face he was trying to put on. That was the choice I picked, wasn't it? His knees are starting to give out. I won't, it won't be long before the rest of him follows. I know none of this is my business, but I should at least put an end to his lost will before that happens. He may be separated by a wall, but I can at least stop the magecraft from... No. Despite it all. Huh? Huh? Is he seriously standing up back now? Standing back up now, rather? I'm at a loss for words. That's why you should just quit now, Tanner. You're only making things harder for yourself. Just stop. All this fighting you've been doing, Aldia's Grand Order, it was all too much for you. His words were just what I wanted to hear. That's right. It's exactly what I've wanted someone to say to me for a long time now. It's okay, you've done enough. You don't have to finish what you started. Here, let me give you an example. Oh no. The best thing for a species may be for it to continue to exist, but that's not always true for individuals. 
Individuals, uh, people, if you like, are always wavering between two desires. The desire to continue, and the desire for a game over. There's nothing wrong with choosing game over. Everything has to end. If we refuse to accept that applies to life too, we'd never be able to do anything. So, we all have to make our peace with that. No matter how long someone's winning streak might last, it must inevitably end. Huh? It's not good enough. You want to know what you should be aiming for then? <laughs> I should have known you'd be so optimistic, Tanner. It's simple. Don't try for a game over. Try for a game complete. You, me, and everyone else are going to have to roll credits someday. But until then, all we can try and do is complete as many of the tasks before us as possible. Happy, sad, failure, success, none of that matters. As long as you've never done it before, anything goes. And you still have plenty left to do, don't you? You've got a lot of living ahead of you before you can truly say you have no regrets. I believe that's what's best for an individual, but above all, nothing would make me prouder than to know you did all that. Oh, right, you're supposed to be taking a break, and here I am talking to you about who knows what. Okay, see you later. Have another great day. If you ever want to talk, you know where to find me. Hmm. That kind of hit me. That's right. Despite it all. Despite it... Oh, despite it all? Wait. Wait. I'm still not ready to give up. Why is that? At first it was like a curse. I had no choice but to fight. But not anymore. I've stepped on lots of things. And left so much and so many behind. Despite all that, I still have something pushing me forward. Back then I shouted to live. Those were the words that helped me to defeat the best thing for humanity. So now I have to find the answer for myself. Oberon is speaking for us? This is a persona moment? Okay. I see, and what would that be? I don't know just yet. Right now, all I have the wish... All I have is the wish to live. <laughs> a wish? That's right. What's wrong with that? Everyone wishes for what they want. Everything I've achieved so far is because I wished for something I wanted. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to find out why I think that way. So what if I lack confidence? So what if this is too much for me to handle? That's not a reason to give up now. <laughs> Seriously? Well, be damned. Were humans always this resilient? Dang. Dang. The, the unstoppable human will, am I right? That's just how it is. No matter what, human will is unstoppable. It's great. Oh. What? What is this place? Senpai. Arturo, you're both alright. Oh, thank goodness. But Mesh? Is that you? Does this mean we're back in reality? But the Garden of Lost Will didn't stop because it ran out of magical energy, so how... Wow, it's all smashed to pieces. A national treasure gone just like that. That's so bold of you. Oh, I, uh, I'm i sorry. I was just in such a panic. I mean, when it's a big old thing, it should be easy to get rid of. Sorry about the cut. It was just putting out really evil magical energy, and I... Didn't know what else to do, so, I mean, when in doubt, break the magical object. Nothing ever goes wrong with that. Sh should I... Should I not have? No, Mash, you made a great call. I would have been too worried about how valuable it was to destroy it. But now, thanks to you, both Tanner and I are safe and sound. The Garden of Lost Will was a cursed object that robs anyone who's trapped in it of their will, will to live. I, uh... Never had that much to begin with, so it wasn't so bad for me. I was going to make that joke myself, but it's really sad when you say it. But if Tanner had been in there just a little longer, he might have... Might have... Might have nothing. You were standing right back up on your own in there. What in the heck is your... What the heck is your deal, Tanner? How can your mind be built like baggies? 
Huh? I'm not sure why Artori is so upset either, Tanner. Uh, what you did in there is so shocking. It's actually kind of infuriating. It makes me wonder just how serious you are about, well, anything. I see. Now I understand. It's true, Senpai's mental state never changes, whether he's doing his job as a master or just being Senpai. Uh, even when he seems to be casually eating his dinner, he's actually quite serious about it. It's very strange. Have you ever seen a man just, like, put all his effort into a dinner roll? It's a sight. Uh, yeah, what? Uh, no, that's not what I'm... Uh. Then again, maybe it is. You really don't run from anything, do you? Even in Norwich, you ran all the way to the harbor when everyone was trying to stop you. I mean, you didn't run away either. Didn't use you in the fight, but... You know, I guess I didn't, did I? I sure didn't go to the harbor, though. I didn't mean that. I meant from being the child of prophecy. Oh. Oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you for saying what I wanted more people to say. But, hi. What are you doing here? Oh my, is that romance in the air? Wait, no, hang on. That's not romantic love. It's platonic love and admiration. Don't worry, Mash and MC shippers. <laughs> A night call. Right, I almost forgot. I was only able to find this place thanks to Pepperoncino. I went after Babanchi after she abducted you too, but then just when I was trying to figure out where you were, Pepperoncino swooped in and saved the day. You know it, hun. It took a lot out of me, but I ran all the way here on these long legs of mine. There's a reason I'm so proud of them. I wasn't sure at first whether I should help or not, but Mashi was just barreling ahead so frantically. I mean, she sprinted from Edinburgh to New Darlington so fast, yet she kicked up dust clouds. So I simply couldn't help but step in, you know. Thanks, Count Pepperon. By the way, what is this place? New Darlington. I noticed Mash because I've been keeping an eye on the place from a nearby hill. New Darlington is Beryl's Citadel. I've been looking for a chance to sneak in for a long time. Up until now, I never found any openings I could use. Thing oh yeah, I was like, huh? I never found any openings I could use thanks to all of Morgan's monitoring spells. But when I saw that Mash was about to charge straight in from the main gate, I thought, oh well, c'est la vie, and stopped her before it was too late. Then we snuck in together. That's right. Pepperoncino used Shigendo, I mean, the Magecraft, to find you, Senpai. All I did was follow the thread of the bond you share with Mash. If anything, I'm the one who should be thanking you. I never would have known this place was on the outskirts of New Darlington otherwise. We were in the outskirts? Oh, interesting. That's right, we're in an underground sanctuary. We came in through a little church out in the woods near the shore. Too bad it looks like this place is positively overrun with nasties now. Anyway, let's focus on getting out of here, shall we? This is the deepest floor of the sanctuary, a prison 80 meters below ground. It's a long and winding way back to the surface, so make sure you're nice and limbered up first. I assume it was super cramped in that tiny b- Artoria? You've got it all wrong, Count. I don't think any kind of love is in the cards from- Artoria. Artoria. Serious. We gotta be serious. Yes, I'm ready. Of course I'm ready. Oh my, her shoulders are as tense as anything. I do hope she'll be able to loosen up eventually. Well, we can worry about that later. Besides, it doesn't look like I need to stick in my nose in any of that. I have a feeling time will solve a lot of these problems. Huh? No, don't you mind little old me. Now come on, let's hurry to the surface. And just so you know, Tanner, I'm counting on you to handle any nasties we run into on the way. That's okay. I can do a meme setup that just wipes them out. No problemo. Let's see, formation restricted, NPC, MASH guest only. All right. Well, that does mean... What, what do we got? We got a um, bit of an eclectic mix. Bit of a bunch of them. I want to try out... I want to try out... Because we could do double Castoria. We could do... Because Mash is a guest. Let's do double Castoria with... Um, again, I want to try like Lancelot's AoE out too. See how that... Well, wait, but if it's the AoE... If it's the AoE... Oh, wait, no, that won't work actually. 
Um, I mean, we, I, wh what if I try something wild? What if I, what if I be a crazy fella? What if I go like, we're going to give you, I don't even know what would be wanting me. Cause I'm like, could I do a, a move set for you? That is half and half. Is that possible? Is, is there a possibility for that? Okay, 50% NP charge by two levels. Sure, let's give that a shot. Uh, we'll give this to you. Uh, and then honestly, after this, it's just like... Freaking, I don't know. Um, I mean, like, yeah, whatever. Whatever. And... Uh, let's go to. I'm just gonna try out something a little wild. Just, just a wild, uh, wild and stupid team, for the heck of it. Okay. This could be stupid, but it might be fun, right? And that's kind of what we're here for. Um. So again, though, I need to make sure that you are starting. Yeah, we want to make sure that you are. Let's go to Ascension 1. Or 2? Let's go 1. Oh, we've seen 1. Let's go 2. Let's stick... Oh, so... Be yeah. I wonder if for you, you can't select random skin, right? Interesting. Interesting. Um, okay. Yeah, let's just do some silly shenanigans with this, and then we'll see how it goes. All right. My thought is like, what if can I can I do both? Well, first off, this is not a great stuff. Well, you know, we could probably just You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna go this. How much do you get? Okay, you don't get a ton, but what we can do is we can do this. That's not enough still. Okay. Oh right, because I didn't max her out. That's why. I forgot about that. Well shoot, there goes that plan. Oh well, let's go kill, and then we'll just go that back, right? We'll just get a bunch back and let's see how this goes. I forgot I didn't max her out, right? That's going to be a bit of a problem. That killed, right? Yeah. Okay, that didn't give, give it fully back. Okay. So she can't loop on just everything. She does get a ton of stars, though, which is fun. Because then we could go, like... We could go, like, one, two, three. And that should... I feel that should kill. Let's see. Ooh, just under. Okay. Hand trembling intimidation. Uh, I was gonna say, what hands? And then I remembered that's not necessarily saying that it is hands, but more that it makes it makes you tremble in a way that it makes your hands tremble. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you are super effective against these guys, right? You are. So, I'm just gonna do that with you. You're probably not gonna kill. But she'll do some good damage. So let's go one, two, you know, let's go two, three. All right. All right, so that didn't kill the middle, but it almost did. So this might. No, this will. Okay, nice. All right. And the what? Something that haunts underground. All right. More damage to Faye. Not great for us, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to go blue this up, this up, this up. We don't have like a full thing with you. We can at least do a bunch. Right. Let's just start with this. 
What a good noble phantasm. Okay. Okay. You know what? 100%. That's so wild. That's so wild. Just free is so good. God, like some of the coolest animations, man, is so good. Oh, rip. It's fine, it's not a huge deal. You gonna come in and, s and show everyone up? Oh my god, you might actually. Let's just go. Just for fun. Nice. I don't know if I love her weapons, just because they're asymmetrical, and a flying thing with asymmetrical weapons makes zero sense. But it's still pretty cool. After arriving in the British Lost Belt, uh, after- oh, smarmy. After arriving in the British Lost Belt, all I found were vast stretches of nothingness, and the Tree of Emptiness towering over them. So there was a tree of emptiness. When were you sent? There was no sign of anything resembling a country. The what-if version of Britain had ended in abject failure long ago. Whatever history it may have had was long since gone. Looks like Wodime was all worked up over nothing. Still, none of that changed the fact that I was bored out of my skull. So I did what any good cryptor would do and decided to summon a servant. I am Morgan the Fairy Queen, a ruler. I have come in response to your summons. You there, descendant of witches, are you my master? I couldn't have made a worse first impression. She saw through me in a single glance. Still, I managed to summon Morgan. <laughs> Morgan the Fairy Queen. The woman who made King Arthur's life hell. The dread witch who brought Camelot to its knees. If anyone could keep things interesting, it was her. I could even take her to the other Lost Belts to mess around there. I sure am! Nice to meet you, Morgan. You and me? We're gonna have lots of fun together. As long as I can keep killing people. It was all good as far as I was concerned. So I welcomed Morgan into my fold, put my trust in her, and decided to turn in for the night. Huh? I went to sleep in an open field and woke up in a bed so fancy it almost made me sick. Welcome to Fairy Britain, Beryl Gut. Did you sleep well last night? The Tree of Emptiness is dead. The Foreign God's plans are of no concern of mine. Ah, what are you- Whoa, you're right, it really is all dried up and dead. The hell were you thinking? I have no further use for it. Fairy Britain is no longer a lost belt. And while I myself am no longer a servant. What? I am willing to keep you as my on as my husband, Beryl Gut. This would purely be for appearance's sake, but the pretense would benefit us both. Hang on. What the hell's going on here? In the span of a single night, this barren island had become a civilized nation. There was no way I could tell Wodime that, so I gave up and accepted Morgan's offer to be her husband. Bro had the nappiest of nappies. I wonder. I wonder. Huh. The next six months were crazy. Tamlin Tristan, uh, Bavanshi, 
took a liking to me after I told her about proper human history. It was pretty cute the way her eyes would always light up when she pestered me to tell her more about the outside world. She was especially taken with a fashion, a particular fascination with the latest shoe designs. I'm guessing she'd never found anywhere to belong in the land of the Fae. Later we built the National Slaughterhouse Theater in the dowdy old city of New Darlington. There we put on every fun kind of show we could think up. Fairies hated Bavanshi well before I came along. I just poured fuel on that fire. Oh, I see. That must be what happened. After thinking it over for a while, I figured out what was going on. I'd summoned Morgan from proper human history. But when I woke up the next morning, this Lost Belt's Morgan had taken her place. There's no way there could be two Morgans in Britain. She's always been one of a kind. So at some point, proper human history Morgan must have transformed into Lost Belt Morgan. That's a thing that can happen? Correct. When you summoned me, I'd be saw what became of this British Lost Belt. Even in this hypothetical world, Britain still collapsed 2,000 years ago. This I could not allow. In an instant, I grasped both what had taken place in this Lost Belt's history and the mechanisms of Kaldia's summoning system. I deciphered the secrets of race shifting and used them myself. I knew it! Hot! Damn, you really are a monstrous genius of a monstrous geniuses, aren't you? You race shifted yourself back in time and rewrote Britain's entire history. And you did it all within a few hours of me summoning you? Damn, girl! Oh, uh, so is that what that was all about? Were you in a hurry to fix things? Because this place couldn't have come about as long as I knew about the old Lost Belt? True. I did need to alter the past while your consciousness was shut down. Information is the only thing which can be ray shifted. To ray shift a living person to a singularity, one must first use a coffin to transform their body into pseudo spiritrons, pure information. Impressive though this theory of Magecraft is, it is only made possible by singularities existing outside normal space time. However, that is still no more than a way to correct distortions, a system that can only function within the confines of a singularity. Ray shifting is not time traveling, and thus cannot be used to alter the past. However, I already existed in this Lost Belt. I was here in Fey Era 4000 as the Fairy of Paradise sent from Avalon. I see. So you sent your own knowledge back into the past. It's kind of like a Kingdom Hearts thing then. It is exactly a Kingdom Hearts thing. Oh, dang. Oh, with my pointed ears, I'm already half Xehanort. Germans are ghost liners. God, it's been a while since we've heard that phrase. Which is just concentrated uh, information when you get down to it. Of course, even a servant would normally disperse as soon as they ray shifted anywhere that wasn't a singularity. But if there was someone on the other end to receive that inf information, like a, a pre-existing email account, well, <laughs> that's another story to... I love how it always goes back to, yeah, magic is just like technology. They're identical. In proper human history, you were a witch who was defeated by King Arthur and you lost your hold over Britain. As that history's Queen Morgan, you were rejected by the entire Isle. You decided to entrust those memories, that information, to the version of yourself that was born in this Lost Belt, didn't you? Correct. Following that race shift, the Morgan of proper human history, the servant you summoned ceased to exist. But in exchange for her resolve, the Morgan of this Lost Belt learned the fate that awaited her. In the first, original version of the Fey Era, the Fairy of Paradise was murdered, and all but a handful of fairies were wiped out in the Great Calamity of the Fey Era 12,000. Once I learned of that truth from proper human history self, I was able to survive to escape my would-be murderers and survive. I then changed the course of that destructive history and killed the Tree of Emptiness. Doing so would ultimately destroy this Lost Belt, but it provided me with an opportunity. So long as someone capable of keeping this world alive remained, this Lost Belt would transform from fantasy into reality. That is the world in which you now find yourself. This is the heir of the High Queen. This land is my fairy Britain. I built it with my own hands and no one will ever take it from me. Yep, she's one hell of a woman. Probably the scariest one I've ever met in my life. She race shifted her own will into the past while I was asleep even though it cost her her life. Then the Morgan from this Lost Belt inherited that knowledge, killed the Tree of Emptiness, and made a new history just for her. I don't like to think about this next part too much, 
but I probably dispersed too while all that was going on. Did you say dispersed or disappeared? Disappeared. Okay. I'd seen the version of Britain from a 2019 where the Tree of Emptiness was still alive and well. So I must have died that night after falling asleep, and the me keeping these thoughts is just a look-alike Morgan whipped up the next morning. That's so scary. It's also how teleporter technology works in like Star Trek, like you just cease to exist and another being inherits your memories, so you die. Like, so, but the question is like, if, if, if that happened, would you transfer consciousnesses kind of like what would would there be continuity or would there not be probably not which means that like every time you want to teleport or something you die and i hate that is that a problem no nope, i'll get here when you've already been resurrected to suit someone else's purposes once before why worry a second time still things are going to be different now Without the Tree of Emptiness in the way, the heir of the High Queen has been firmly established. It can't bring any more dead people back to life to iron out inconsistencies, and any outsiders who show up won't be able to mess with it either. You do know the Chaldeans are going to do everything they can to destroy this Britain of yours, right? I see no reason to be concerned with them. My enemy is your colleague, an Olympus's Tree of Emptiness which now covers the entire planet. Damn, do you plan to go on the offensive against a distant Lost Belt next? Granted, yeah, that probably is more urgent for you. But still, Wotan's no pushover, you know? And those Olympian gods seem like pretty bad news, too. Besides, Wotan doesn't seem especially pitiful or interesting. Killing him be a pretty big risk, and there wouldn't be much reward even if I succeeded. Are you saying you have no wish to fight Olympus's cryptor? Did you not tell me that each cryptor is competing with the others? Is that not why you all resurrected? To vie to become the king of this planet. Nah, I don't know about the others, but I got zero interest in being a king. Then why did you answer the foreign god's call? Was mere survival your only concern? Well, yeah. Imagine you suddenly woke up dead and a mysterious voice says you're going to stay that way unless you accept their offer. Isn't it natural for humans to bet on any opportunity that'll mean life over death? Not for you. You have no attachment to your own life and neither do you place any value in the lives of others. You live only for the moment and seek nothing beyond that. You are prepared to meet your end at any time. A man such as you would never awaken just simply to keep living. Ah, you're giving me too much credit, your majesty. I'm just your everyday hedonist. Sure, living's a pain in the ass, but I can deal with that as long as there's enough fun stuff to make up for it. Take Tamlin Gawain, for instance. She seems interesting. Fun to mess with her. Spriggan, on the other hand, seems boring. You'd be better off a villain as a B-movie. That's all there is to me, Morgan. Incidentally, you seem boring too. By which mean... By which I mean you won't be any good for helping me pass the time. You can just relax and do your queen thing. Besides, I'm not strong enough to kill you anyway. What about Tristan then? How do you see her? Lady Spinell, huh? <laughs> She's a jewel, that's for sure. I'm happy to take good care of a pretty young lady like that. But she's a dead end. She's neither pitiful nor interesting. Just the thought of harming your arms and legs make my chest tighten up. The more promising someone's future is, the more it makes me want to ruin it. And believe me, I'm aware of how bad that makes me sound. I guess putting someone pitiful out of their misery is just my way of expressing my love. You are scum. And boy, do I love every time you speak. You're the worst. You are truly the worst. Like, actually one of the worst characters in any game I've ever played. And yet, when you speak, it just, there's, it's strong. I'm guessing we just have more, more things to take care of. Um, sure. Sure. Yeah, and kill Berserker. Yeah. Actually, wait. 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 Well, we could do that. Or... Hmm. Who are some? I'm guessing it's going to be groups of enemies. Let's see... Hmm. 
who is a good freaking well no because you kill first that wouldn't work with you um i mean you are pretty much our best bet for this so let's just yeah because there's nothing saying we can't do it so yeah Ooh, is this your special attack up mp up for all allies freaking yeah let's go yes please okay and we give you sure all right did anyone else feel that tremor it almost felt like the prelude to an earthquake an earthquake. We almost never get those in Britain. Let's hurry. I've got a bad feeling about this. Hmm. Pepe, um, are you not feeling well? I could not but notice that you haven't quite seemed like yourself. Oh, Mashy, you really don't miss anything, do you? Well, don't worry about me. I'm just feeling a little bummed out, that's all. But I do appreciate you looking out for me. <laughs> Thanks, Mashy. Now, come on, once we get through that door and out to the hall, it's a straight shot back to the surface. So let's get going already. You guys still aren't anywhere close to done yet. What are those things? Well, their bodies are rotten, their corpses. The remains of the people who died in the calamity of Darlington 100 years ago come back to life. Now I see. This was a human burial ground. All right, if they mean to attack us, we'll just have to defend ourselves. I'll keep the fighting to a minimum, secure path to the upper floors. Yep. Gotta beat him up. Just gotta beat him up. All right. What? Huh? Well, that's just annoying. What the frick? What? Why? Frick, I should have brought a thing for that. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. So wait, is it going to be like, if you don't attack them, they won't attack us? Oh. Interesting. 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 They're not attacking. Okay. Ah, oh, what? You're not gonna attack him? That's boring. I went to a lot of trouble to release these human morphs from the observation room, too. Human moors? I didn't even get so much as a hello. I'm very friendly, aren't you, Kohai? Guess I hurried all this way from New Darlington's Lord Manor for nothing, then. As you can see, these things are human, but they're not corpses like you thought they were. There's only one dead body left in all of Britain. What do you mean by that? What, what do you mean by that? Nah, these guys are the fruit of a little research project I've been working on the last six months. I wondered what would happen if you transplanted the Moore's curse to a human. Well, here's the answer. They're alive and they're dead. Dead, but alive. Being like that's so painful to them, all they can do is implore anyone who passes nearby for, nearby for help. That makes them pretty great parting gifts. Because now Moore's poison can inflict humans. Just as well as it can fairies. But if we fought them, we'd have been... Still, well, I'm not surprised to see Mash show up. I didn't expect you to be here too, Pepperoncino. I didn't think you'd come all the way to Britain just to avenge old Wodime. I never pegged you for the hot-blooded type. I didn't think I figured you were more like me. That's true. You're a cleaner and I'm a killer. Neither of us were ever good people. Right, wrong... Even whether this benefits me, none of that matters to me right now. I'm just here to kill you. If someone pisses scum like us off, I don't like the phrase pisses scum. That's all the reason we need to kill them, isn't it? 
you know, when you're right, you're right. Guess this means emotional appeals and peaceful discussion are off the table then. Don't tell me that was... That's right. As you can see, this burial gives long past this prime, so I thought I'd give it a little renovation. Now it's time to bury the evidence for Morgan finds out I got carried away with my experiments. I didn't have to tell you guys that, but hey, you, me, and Mash were all part of Team A once, right, Pepper and Chino? So I figured the least I could do is warn you to scram, or you'll end up buried alive. I don't know about Tanner, but at least you two might be able to make it out of here in time. I don't know about that part. Let's get Meryl, get back here. They said these people are still alive. Stay away from them. Don't don't you get it? We can't help them anymore. No one can. We're still deep underground. If we don't hurry out of here, we'll be dead too. Once we have a safe way out, then we can worry about rescuing anyone we can. Got it. I'll use Magecraft to keep us safe. Let's hurry upstairs, Tanner. Did we make it? Yo, this place is... Look at... Look, this is where you fight friggin'... There's so many boss fights in this exact arena. Like, I've been in this arena before. No, we're still underground. To reach the surface, we have to get to the furthest end of the sanctuary. Yo, there's so many backgrounds. Oh god, are we gonna be out? Stop. Go back to the staircase. Pepe, what you do, bruh? That was close, but it looks like I just made it. Sorry for kicking you all out so fast. I know my legs are just terribly long. Is anyone hurt? No? Oh, good. What's going on, Count Pepperon? Hmm? Oh, there's just a little poison gas in here. Hang on while I go shut it off, okay? Don't worry, as you know, I trained in Shugengdo up in the mountains, so karma doesn't affect me much. I can survive the gas for a good while. Karma, I don't understand. What do you mean by... Huh? I'd say this should take me about three minutes. I could do it faster if I wasn't so tired, but... Oh, well. Tanner, Mashi... Do you two trust me enough to wait till I get back? You said three minutes, right? Okay. Great. Alrighty, I'm gonna go take care of this. <laughs> this should be fun. I haven't had a chance to use my full strength in a long time. Oh boy. I don't want Pepe to die. He's absolutely gonna die. <laughs> There's no way he's not gonna die. Oh boy, Caster. Which cast are we fighting? Okay, it's been three minutes. I'm opening the door. Oh. Oh my. Three minutes already? Time does fly when you're having fun, doesn't it? There you go. It's all spick and span. Now let's get out of here before it all comes crashing down, shall we? I never doubted you could do it, Pepe. Oh, exactly what kind of poisonous gas was it? The ceiling here is about 40 meters high. Was the gas heavier than air? Something like that. All sorts of things tend to stagnate in the air under a cemetery. Um, Count Pepperon, are you... Victoria? Oh my, such fire in your eyes. Are you burning to continue our little love talk from earlier? Never mind, it's nothing. No? Well, that's too bad. I was so looking forward to chatting about romance. I guess that's just how you've always lived your life, Martoria. I do have my concerns about that, but this time I appreciate it. In that case, mind keeping it to yourself until all's said and done. Hmm, thanks, hon. What does she know? The lower levels must be completely buried by now. Come on, let's get out of here while we still can. Right, the exit's just over there. I'll lead the way. What is... what... hmm... What do you know? Ooh, what do you know? There it is. Be careful, Master. I'm detecting a powerful, hostile, magical energy signal up ahead. Oh, come on. How did you guys get up here without a scratch on you? What the hell, guys? I should have taken at least one or two of you. I and you, Tanner. Why are you looking at me like that? Is that really your idea of a master sworn to defend humanity? I'm not giving you the time of day. Don't waste your time on the likes of him, Tanner. I was hoping to take care of him myself, but would you mind, would you three mind kicking his hiney for me? Just be thorough about it, yeah? We don't want him ever doing anything nasty ever again. Right, 
I'm sorry, Barrel, but we don't have any time to waste. If you're going to stand in the way, I'm going to have to force my way past you. I see. Guess you didn't care for my game then. Alright, looks like I have to break up the big guns. What are you doing? No human should be able to do that. And magical energy aura. Stand back, everyone. He's... he's... Whoa! Um... What the frick are you? <laughs> Sorry about this. I didn't want to have to show this side of myself if I didn't have to. But I've waited long enough to be alone with Mash. Time for the rest of you to give us some privacy. Yes. No, it can't be. That's Woodwoe's spirit origin. Oh, no. Oh. Really? Really? Sorry, what? One servant? I mean, I have an idea for this. Which is to use, um, I was gonna use you to deal, to debuff and deal good repeated damage. Right? This, why only that many? What the frick? Okay. Uh, okay. Um, in that case, yeah, we're gonna get you kind of going. Buff, 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 buff. Right? Okay. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Let's see. Black Wolf. Part of his lineage. What does that mean? That's useful, thank you. Loyalty to the Queen. Crit rate, restore HP. Oh, so do you have pretty much the same thing? Immune to poison, bring your resistance all attack and sure hit. Fun. Fun. What are we gonna do? Oh boy. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. So you have Tamlin attack and that up, yeah, yeah. And you just have yours still. So let's just start with one, two, you know what? Let's just go in for as much as we can to start. Right, just as much as we can. And we'll do this over and over. As much as we can. Okay. Nice. How much are you going to get back? Pressure. Terror's on. Good. Oof. Okay, not a ton. Sure hit is fine. We got evade, though. Um, so we can do that again. Yep. Uh, I'm going to pop this. And let's go one, two, three. Okay. Oh. Defense down. Hey, thank you for that, actually. That's awesome. Even more defense downs. Jeez. We get a crit. Oh. Is this going to be enough? So close. Okay. Bang's lineage. Defense down. Okay. I'm going to do... I'm going to do this, because I feel like he's going to give himself max meter. So I'm going to go... And this on you, yep. I feel like I, I, feel like I need to, so I'm going to go... Because we should be able to kill him here. So let's go... One... Two, three. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay. Are you going to give yourself a bunch of meter, buddy? 
sure hit. Charisma of Hope. Okay. Oh! Okay, Kira was planning with like, boom, seat and I mash Artoria, right, do some, but okay. All right. Sure. I was ready. So, were you a werewolf? Because he said my lineage. Was he a werewolf? That'd be interesting. That'd be mad interesting. What? Tired already? Oh, come on! I was just getting started. I didn't go to the trouble of copying Woodwose's spirit origin just for us to screw around. That's Woodwose's spirit origin? Not Rhinex? Rhinex? What? He was one of Ash's companions. He was nowhere near this powerful, though. By the way, that doesn't change the fact he has an A-Race spirit origin. If I read that sentence long ago, it would have been so good. We don't have any weapons able to penetrate the Grand Duke of Waste Heat's hide. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at you, little savior. Clever, ain't ya? Don't gotta tell you, there's no point in fighting, do I? Still, I wish your idiot friends would get it through their thick skulls that none of you are getting out of here alive. Isn't that right, Pepperoncino? Don't think I don't see a chance to sneak up on me. Ooh! Pepe! One down, three to go. Later, Pepperoncino. Get it killed you whenever I wanted, but I was cutting you a break for old times. Uh huh. What? Gross! Oh, I feel sick. You. What the hell did you do to me? What is this? Oh my god. Ah, oh, this is Pepe's death. Don't you recognize it? You've been testing it on who knows how many people. I was caring enough for 500 people and now... I've passed it on to you. You... you bastard, you already... That's right. I was already practically dead. So how do you like the taste of your own damn curse? The one that reflects right back onto you when you kill someone. Ugh. Oh, he hates it. Well, that's one way to do it. He just absorbed all the curses like a sponge and then put it on him, huh? Oh, boy. Stop, go back to the staircase. Oh, we're going to see what happened. Two hundred, three hundred. Oh my, I can't even count them all. This must be where he was keeping all the humans he was experimenting on. I knew Beryl was a botanist, but and that he knew a lot about witch mage crafted in potions. But I had no idea he could also abuse curses like this. Those British witches really are bad news, aren't they? Okay. So he comes from a lineage of British witches. I mean, I guess that makes sense. We've learned that he's British. We know that he comes from witches. So yeah, that's obvious, I guess. There's no way we can get past all of them unharmed. Get too close and they'll come after you begging for help. Touch them and be poisoned. Kill them and you'd get cursed. Well, Mashie's immune to poison, so they probably won't work on her. The real cruelty of this, of it though, is how it's meant to make you kill helpless civilians, innocents even. Even if it is just a malicious prank taken too far, it'll hurt Mashie and Tanner the most. Scumbag or not though, I'm still their senpai. I'll just have to handle this for them. So you killed you. He killed them all, took on that entire curse, and then. Oh, he is. Oh, he is messed up because he has given himself so many curses. And then when. When Beryl kills him, all of those got transferred to him. Oh my god. There we go. All done. Now I just need to cast a little illusion. Move the bodies to the corner. Hide the blood and guts and... Oh gosh, just look at me. My outfit and makeup are all a mess. Makes sense though. One curse for every person I just killed. Now my intestines are pulverized. My skin's in tatters. It's gonna take more than a trip to the spa to bounce back from this. Any halfway decent person would follow you all, all the way up to the grave now, but I just can't do that yet. Would you all just mind waiting for me just a bit longer? I have one last thing I need to take care of. Oh my god, this is one way for Pepe to go. That's for sure. 
What the shit? What is wrong with the this head of the Vanglon body? How the hell is the Morris Chris even working on it? That's a little something for me, darling. I mixed in a little extra retaliating curse on my own to sweeten the deal, so to speak. A retaliating curse, you son of a... Is that any way to fight like a man? <laughs> Please stop, Beryl. It really hurts to laugh right now. This is no time to be laughing, Pepper. We need to treat you right away. Thank you, Mashie, but don't worry about that. Tanner, you know what you have to do. Let's do this, Mash. Right. Preparing to take out Hostile Black Wolf at full power. Do we still only have three servants? Because if so, hey. Yeah, okay. Well, that, that plan worked out pretty good last time. It actually worked out pretty damn good, right? I... Would you do better, maybe? Cur well, we don't have you buffed up, but we do have you quite high. You might even actually be better. You might be way better. Right? Because then you also have the, 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 the defense against it. And so just to be careful, because you're going to get a lot of meter back. Let's give you this so that we can make sure you start with enough meter. Right? Because then we do that. We pop yours. Yeah, yeah, that should work. Okay, we'll give that a shot. Let's see here. Oh yeah. You got that going on. Moore's illness lose HP at the end of each turn. And look at this. Look at this perfect hand. Alright. Let's go this. And this. And this. And this. And this. And, this. and, this. and we're going to hold on to that. We'll do this. And let's go one, two, three. Okay, do your stuff. Because it is five. That was big numbers. That was really big numbers. Yep. Not a ton of regen. That's a bit of a shame, yeah. Pressure terror. Can you... Yeah, it's fine. That's good. Okay. Um, that's fine. So we can do... Let's go one... Two, three. Yeah, we'll get one turn of this, and then we'll get you guys meter. That should work. So again, people have pointed out there is a difference in this compared to the regular version. I think it's her expression. It might be that. Okay, so he's doing that. You got a bunch of meter with you. Way too much meter. Okay. Um, let's go. One, two, three to get yours next turn. Because this will this will definitely break it. Yep. And charge loss. That's nice. Good. Okay. Repulsive, utterly repulsive. Act some, he's doing something. Soiled main. That did nothing. Oh, applying curse. Okay. Nice. Good. We wanted that. That's sick. Um, I don't think this is enough. It's not. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's go. You know what? I'm going to hold off on this because I want to get... Let's get meter with you. People also pointed out her being level 110 and like above level 100. That was before they implemented it in uh, like the, the coins and stuff. So that is actually legitimately new uh, like for when they're playing. So we're going to go one... Two, three. There we go. Let's see how much this is gonna do. 
お涼さんああ甘かけるリュウガ如くこれでしまいだ余裕がないぜ Good damage, good damage. Not, not as good for looping, but real good damage. And good for this fight. You okay, game? You're having a bit of trouble, I'm noticing. God, removing the debuff for the,、uh, the terror there is so good. Okay, so. Uh, we don't need that. We'll just do just a full, full turn with you attacking. There we go. Charm on Mash? I doubt it. Nice. I think this will be it. This will pretty much be it. She is stunned. I don't have a. Here for that. Let's go this. Let's do this. And there's a hold up on the attack up. Let's go one, two, three. This could be enough. That's enough. Bro's dead. Nice. Didn't even get to pop off his super. You love to see it. I was a bit worried when they only let us we'll use one server, but honestly, that was fine. <sighs> you really did it, damn it. I'm impressed, Pepperoncino. Alright, I see how it is. I admit, you got me. I'm the one who messed up, so. I'll be the one to run for it. He escaped through the skylight. I guess we won't be following him. Not that it matters now. Pepe. You had a million death flags, but. Oh, was I sleeping? Oh, silly me. I can't believe I missed your big fight scene. Still, at least I can tell from your faces that you've won, even though you look like you're both about to cry. Come now, cheer up. You're supposed to smile and high five after you win a fight, not rain on your own parade. But, but we wouldn't be alive now if not for you. We didn't even realize what you've done for us. What? Oh, whatever are you talking about? All I did was try to sneak attack Beryl and fail miserably. So, of course, things turned out that way. Besides, it's only right that I be the one to take responsibility for my own actions, you know? Now go on. You need to get going already. This was just a detour, remember? Don't worry about me. It's as far as I go. I'm already dead, anyway.、Uh, of course, we're gonna worry about you. Oh, Tanner. Mashie can understand, but not you. Carrying the dead will only slow you down, especially now I'm, when I'm full to bursting with curses. Besides, we're enemies. We were always gonna go a separate way sooner or later. Not to mention, I really am a despicable murderer. I just went after someone worse this time. Believe me, you two have no reason to mourn someone like me. But. I still don't know anything about that side of you. Exactly. I'm glad you never did. I'm glad my lovely little Kohai never ended up hating me. Pepe. Hey now, no crying. Besides, Beryl and I are cut from the same cloth. We're both worthless, good for nothings at heart. I'm. Well, I was always thinking about how things would end up. Um.、Uh, how things would end, then how long they'd keep going. I. Do you know why people like me violate the law? It's not because we want to do bad things. We just want to get out of keeping on for keeping on's sake. The laws people make are meant to help them flourish longer and better, just like humanity itself. So, after defying them, ignoring them, breaking them, the bills finally come due. But you two aren't like that. You two want to keep on keeping on, right? That's exactly what you should do. You should keep running and running until you've gone so far people like me can't even see you anymore. You have to do at least that much if I'm going to die by myself. I'm too much of a coward otherwise. 
Go on now. Take Mashie and get out of here. You're her master, aren't you? Okay. Thanks, Pepe. It's been a blast. Why, thank you, darling. It's been a blast for me, too. Don't forget, now that you've come this far, you better save Britain and Artoria. <laughs> As something of an expert on curses, I can sense what type it is that's covering all of Britain now. Listen to me closely. Your real enemy here is someone who's bring out to bring an end to everything. Remember that well, and don't let your guard down until it's well and truly over. Oh boy, I wonder who that could be. Certainly don't have some guesses. Good. Oh, he's even thrown away his name. They made it to the exit. That wraps up the last of my unfinished business. I'm not scared or in pain anymore, but I guess I do have some bitter, bitter memories. I killed them, all of them. In the span of a few minutes, while the moon was hidden behind clouds, I killed all 400 members of my clan while they slept. It was quick and methodical, like mowing the lawn, just like how I mowed down all those sick, helpless people earlier. When I was ten years old, my clan expected great things from me. They saw me as the first genius born to the clan since our Founder's Day. I wanted to live up to their expectations, but it simply wasn't possible. Oh my god, this mirrors Artoria Caster! I was born with different inclinations. My heart and my body never quite fit. My mind was fundamentally opposed to being the kind of person the world at large demanded I be. My clan wanted me to father lots of children, so my superior genes would be passed down and preserved. But I just couldn't do it. Oh! They're actually addressing the fact that bro likes men. Some people understood me, but there was nobody else like me. I heard whispers from some people wishing I had been talentless so they could have given up on me, but I wasn't especially bothered. I never had any grudges or complaints. I did wonder why I'd been born the way I was. But I didn't begrudge anyone or hate anyone or feel bad about my situation. I knew I couldn't help being having been born who I am. It wasn't my place to gripe about it, and it wasn't worth asserting my rights over either. The only thing I felt a little bad about was knowing that there would never be anything more to my life. Rojinsu is the power to know your own fate. By the time I was ten years old, I knew that my soul would never be reincarnated again. I might, as, I might have been sad about that if I'd been in the middle of my journey, but instead knowing this would be my last life, I only felt pity for this imperfect world and the fate all humans were given. Fast forward ten years, there was nothing left for me to learn on the mountain, and so I decided to put it all behind me. Before I did that, there was something else I needed to do. Right before they died, they all looked at me with such shock as if to say, Why are you doing this? We'd all been through a lot together. We may have been an irredeemable scum, but we were still practically family. And yes, I did love everyone in the Miorenji clan, but... The child has no talent whatsoever. We should put him out of his misery now. Don't be ridiculous. He's still soft, that's all. Just put out one of his eyes and make him kill his little brother. His little brother? That'll make him awaken to his true talent. Good point. Better to bet on one making it than getting rid of them both. Exactly. Besides, that's what they did to us when we were that age, right? When I overheard that conversation, I cried. I knew then that there was no place in modern society for a clan with karma like that. That was my last memory as Mio Renji Aro. After that, I completely forgot everything that happened on that mountain. I also stopped thinking of what I did, of, did as a crime. Really, I stopped thinking of it as part of my past at all. I swear, I really am scum. After everything I did, I still have nothing but fond memories of my time there. No wonder I was fated to die alone. That's what I get for killing everyone else. Really, it was shameless of me to even consider wanting to go out on a high no- Oh. So that's why he did that. I can't believe I only just realized it now. <laughs> I swear. I always thought it was sudden. Even for him. Thank you, David. Thank you for using that once-in-a-lifetime ticket.
What do you mean? What do you mean to come to see me when I was at my most beautiful? What? Oh, I don't know what that means. Because we know, like, we've seen David, like, once. What does it mean? Oh, I gotta, gotta learn. What do you even mean when you're at your most beautiful? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. All right, last one here. Bro, what does it all mean? <sighs> okay. I didn't know the Count for very long, but I could tell he'd killed a lot of people, just like he said. He had no sympathy for those he killed, or for himself when he was about to die. He was cruel and cold-blooded, so much that we really don't need to waste time mourning him. That being said, he was under no delusions about who he was, and he never lied to you. He was so true to himself, it was almost scary. He really did do whatever he liked, whatever he felt like it. However, even... So, um, I guess what I'm trying to say is, he was always good about taking care of others. Right. I'm sure he would have smiled and said so himself. He was a strange, mysterious sort of person through and through. He was more egalitarian with himself and those around him than anyone I've ever met. That's a... I don't know if you would know that word. Egalitarian. That feels way too political for a... Like a, like, I, I mean, I get, why would the word exist? I don't know. Okay. Let's go. That's what we gotta do. There, I see them. Your tracking capabilities are truly exceptional, Lady Da Vinci. You know it. Uh, now I'm really glad I added a camera function to Typhoon. Hey, Tanner, Mash, Artoria. You guys okay? Come on, we've got places to be. I see, so Pepe's... What a loss. I was always hoping he could take over as the new head of Norwich one day. Yeah, it's sad, but I'm afraid you have to mourn him later. Don't you have something to tell them, Da Vinci? I tell myself if you like, but I figure it's better coming from you. Okay, right. Artoria, we got an emergency message from Oberon. It said the Round Table Army has captured Oxford. You can ring the Bell of Pilgrimage at any time. Please get here before the Queen's army comes to retake it. That's right. Percival beat the Fang Clan while we were way up north, so we didn't have time th to fight this time. Now come on, let's get to Oxford as soon as we can. Okay. Toxford! Didn't think that'd be where we're going next. I would thought we'd go into New Darlington to, you know, finish things off, but I guess not. Oxford, there it is. The final night. Very strong. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. We will see you next time for some more. Let's play Fate Grand Order, where we head into Chapter 22. Maybe. It might be time for, for Nero Fest. In which case, I make no promises about playing the story for a bit. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Once again, give a check here. So we got all of this in here. Right? Oh, there's so much now. Oh, there's so much now. Is it all filled in? Oh, shoot, it's all filled in. Yeah. I mean, well, for now, we're going to learn more. We're going to learn more for sure. All right, guys, thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Ciao.